Hey, Dana here, and welcome to Searching For. This is a continuation of getting Elizabeth's boat trailer ready to go. I had to, I got the, I got the box, the rollers, the way I want them for the moment. I gotta wait till I get the platform on here. It took me a while. <laughs> I had to drill holes. Um, my status right now on my axle is, I technically thought my axle was bent, but I guess that's the way the axle is. So, so I'm right back down to my um, bearing and hub situation squared away. So I was going to build a new, build a new axle until I found that that was actually the way it should be is bent. So all I got to do is get a get a new hub on here. Um, this one's kind of wore out, so I'm going to go ahead and get new new ones. When I was thinking about making another one, um, get new uh, spindles, Jesus, um, and then get a get another pipe slide the spindle into it and then weld it but it looks right now like i'll be able to reuse the spindle. so that's where i'm at right now on the axle situation um wiring we're uh wiring i'm wiring it up again because uh somehow or other got cut and the wires were cut and uh disconnected and the uh, the normal stuff that you'll have to do when you fix a trailer. Uh, next, once I get the spindles, then I got to get tires. So, um, I've also found I have a I have a uh, weld that broke on the front here that I'm gonna have to weld up. Hopefully, I can get this out, get it out, and get uh, Elizabeth in the water in the next week. Um, time is summer is uh, moving moving through pretty quickly and uh, it's it's not an overnight it's not an overnight thing you gotta have your equipment you gotta have your your act together before you can get out there and start searching so you know I thought I was going to be able to use the bearings and stuff out of that. All right, right there. Out of that old axle. Unfortunately, not. Um, that's. I'm not. So, I'm not sure what size that spindle is, but it's smaller than this. This one's an one inch. And I was gonna. I was gonna move up to a inch and inch and a sixteenth. But uh, I'm not going to do that at the moment. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. Like I said, I'm going to get new, new, new hubs for it. And do it that way. Like I said, I, gotta re I had to reconnect wires here. Um, I'm doing everything watertight. Good idea to get these heat shrink. Alright, right, so it takes care of that. Um, like I said, next next step, once I get the wheels back on here, then I can go ahead and put the tongue tongue back in make sure all the lights work get the platform on here and get it adjusted so I can get the boat on here the whole point is so I can slide the base with the with the boat right on into the water or off the trailer on the on the on the ground and then I can take the boat straight off the platform into the water. Either way, the whole point is to cut down on the amount of dragging the boat around 
so I don't put holes in it. Hey, Dana here, and welcome to Searching For. This update as to where I'm at with Elizabeth's trailer here. And what I've been doing today is making guides. You can see I got some, had some form, form metal here, cut it up and then bolted it in place. I may eventually weld them in place, but right now, that's what I'm doing right now. I left it like 14 inches. Left the piece, left two pieces at 14 inches back here. So when we're lining it up, coming in off the water, it should line right up, slide right on here, and then we can pull it right up. Pull it up tight. And then, of course, the tongue is missing, laying right there. And then, uh, what you I got a piece here. I got a weld. So that's why I was saying when I get the, I brought the weld over. I thought I was going to do that, but we had lightning and thunder and wind and everything else. And uh, I was going to weld <laughs> in that condition. So pretty much did the same thing here. The only problem is I ran out of, I ran out of this plastic PVC plastic um, guide. So uh, I'm going to see if I can come up with something else, but um that's what this looks like without it. And then, because uh, I wanted these, these are 14 inches off the end. So, got the rollers underneath, and then I've got the guides on both sides. And then, of course, when we go down the road, three inch wide web ratchet straps. And then one, two, and then three along the back. Strap that baby down, and, uh, we're on our we're on our way to our next search or we're we're coming home one or the other so there we are um i gotta get a um not exactly sure what i'm gonna use wrap around this but this is this is the metal part right here so that'll ratchet up that's gonna ratchet right up on that and we'll pull the pull the nose tight and that'll finish that off i'm gonna zip these off so I don't have those in my in my way or any <laughs> chance of going into the into Elizabeth. Yay, Dana here, and welcome to searching for. Even though we're in the garage, no right now is I just got my order in from Tractor Supply. <clears throat> Hopefully they sent me the right U-bolts. Hopefully that's what I want. Where are these U-bolts? Oh, shoot. Uh, nope, they're a little bit too big. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I think I need just a little bit smaller, huh? All right, well. Let's just video real quick. Ah, <laughs> uh, nuts. Take them back and get the ones I need. Okay, so it takes me back. I, I got to grind this tip up here and get it, get it gr uh, ground, and then get it welded. Um, so you gotta, I got a break in my break in the weld here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that ground, ground down, cleaned up. Get that, get that welded. All right, we're back. Get that. Got, I decided to weld both of them. They look kind of weak. And then I welded the rear, rear support. I'm gonna leave these, leave these bolted. That one there, that one there. But I went ahead and hit, hit this one up on the inside here. And then I did the same on the other. Because yeah. these are gonna get these are gonna get slammed once in a while, so um, that's why I wanted them welded. I could have probably just put a bolt put a bolt through there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. If I have to remove them all, I gotta use grind grind them out. So here we are. That's where I'm at right now. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of plastic plastic to make a slider from that point to this point. Um, 
I didn't have another whole sheet, whole piece. I don't know why, but I didn't. <laughs> so this one's out here. Um, fortunately, I don't have enough even to cut that in half and bring it up to this point. So anyway, that's where I'm at. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And catch me on the next Searching For. If you have anything that needs to be searched for, please leave me a comment. <laughs>